Hi readers, today I want to teach you to think about a problem or goal your main character might have. Then I want to teach you how to brainstorm ideas for obstacles that your character will have to overcome for the problem. You're going to think to yourself, will the story end with a resolution or solution? We're going to call this create urgency. So today writers, I'm going to teach you how to create urgency when it comes to your writing. We're going to take a story that's familiar to us, for example, called Enemy Pie by Derek Munson. Just to refresh our brains about what this story was about, the reader is clued in on the main problem that will focus the story, and it goes a little something like this. It should have been a perfect summer, but it wasn't. In this story, we learn on the following couple of pages about the new boy, Jeremy who has moved in next to his best friend and soon becomes the main character's enemy number one. Derek Munson, the writer, creates a problem in the story, an enemy. And throughout the story, they try to solve the problem of having an enemy. The boy's father tries to help out by telling him that they're going to use a recipe to create enemy pie. In a story, it helps if there is some urgency that keeps the reader wanting to read. Oftentimes, this is accomplished by giving the main character a clear problem or a goal. In the case of Enemy Pie, the problem was the enemy. Once you've figured out the main problem or goal for your story, you'll build your plot or your story around it thinking about what will lead up to it and what will happen once it's revealed. Sometimes you'll want to make the problem get fixed. We call this a solution. Other times you'll find a way to resolve the tension without actually having everything work out perfectly for the main character. We call this a resolution. Planning out this overall arc of your story before you begin helps you know where you're going. Brainstorming. So, Let's take a look at this list of things that you want to do today to create urgency in your story. Today, uh, writers, I want you to use the strategy of creating urgency. This is going to help you have a stronger story and, of course, make your reader want to read your story. So let's follow these three steps. One, think about a problem or a goal for your character. I want you to ask yourself, what problem might your character have? Two, I need you to brainstorm some ideas, some problems or goals that you can make for your character. I want you to get out a sticky note, write those problems down. What is it that your character needs to overcome? After you've brainstormed some ideas, I want you to take a picture and post it onto Seesaw. You're going to record yourself. In your recording, I want you to tell me how um, or what your problem is going to be for your character. After you've recorded and posted this picture, letting me know what your problem is going to be or what you've brainstormed, you need to get ready to write. So then you're going to start writing your story. And of course, you want to think about how will your story end? Are you going to have a solution? or resolution. Remember, a solution is the problem gets fixed. A resolution, the problem doesn't quite get fixed, but you find a way to resolve the tension without actually having everything work out perfectly for your main character. So writers, I want you to now have it your turn. You go and do this right now. Think about a problem, brainstorm, put those on a sticky note, take a picture and post it on a seesaw and don't forget to record yourself saying what your problems are that you've listed. Then go ahead and write, and then don't forget how is your story going to end. Good luck, writers.